Y'all, we are gonna have so much fun today. I am so excited. I feel like this is always one of my very favorite videos of the entire year to make and to share with you because we're gonna talk about Christmas decor. I'm gonna show you some of the things that I've gotten, give you kind of my idea for this year, my theme, how I plan to decorate, and then we're gonna make a really, really yummy dinner tonight. I cannot wait for that. I saved it. I've been telling Bunky all week I wanna make it, so we're gonna make it tonight. And then I'm about to whip up my favorite new I will say breakfast potatoes, but really you could eat these like as a side dish anytime. They're just so good. I shared them on Instagram, but I gotta share it here too because they are delicious and I'm hungry. So we're gonna make those. And then also I am like overjoyed to say the biggest thank you ever to Divi for sponsoring today's video. So I can't wait to tell you more about that. It is just gonna be so much fun. But first things first, let's make these potatoes because I am a hungry girl. Okay, so first things first, I like to use like the gold potatoes. I just feel like they cook better on the stove top. And like I said, these can be like a super easy side dish. It would even be great for like um, Thanksgiving or if you just need like something easy to go with dinner. But I am telling y'all, they are just, oh my gosh, so good. Leave them in your mouth. So anyway, I just kind of cut them up into bite-sized pieces. Now here's like a very important part. These potatoes make like a lot of moisture. You can probably kind of see it on there. So I take paper towel and try and get off like as much of that moisture as I can. They just fry up so much better, like the drier that they are. And then to my pan, I'm gonna add a little bit of avocado oil and then a little bit of butter. Okay, add your potatoes. Now, this is why these potatoes are so good. This is my new flavor combo. You know how I love like the honey mustard Italian dressing? Well, this is that new thing for me okay so this is at costco it's the truffle parmesan and black garlic it is so good one of the best seasonings ever okay then i love these little like packets of the italian salad dressing seasoning mix i do like a third of this and then a good amount of the truffle because potatoes can take like a lot of seasoning but i'm telling y'all i put this same seasoning on chicken this week it was amazing i put the same thing on like broccoli it was amazing you can use this on anything and it's going to be so good This is the trick to making any really good stovetop potatoes. Pop a lid on because it's going to like steam them and they're going to get like a crust on the outside but still be tender and soft on the inside. Okay, let me show you how this lid actually steams these so good. Woo! Do y'all see that crust these are getting? I am telling you. I'm going to have y'all love these potatoes as much as I do. <laughs> like, they are just the best ever. Okay, now here's where we just take them, like, over the top. A little fresh parm. And then why not throw just, like, a little bit of fresh herbs on there? Y'all, they're going to be the best potatoes you've ever had. I am telling y'all right now, this will become your favorite side dish you've ever made. How many times have I made them this week? I said three, but I think this is fourth. It's at least four, if not, this might be five. And listen, I'm gonna make like a Thanksgiving, like best potato recipes for Thanksgiving. I want to add this in there, but I'm not going to because I'm making it right now. But just know when I make that video, refer back to this one too, because this <laughs> needs to be in there because I'm telling you, this would even be a great alternative to like mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. They are ridiculous ridiculous they're so good okay now let's talk about divvy if you have followed me for any amount of time especially over on instagram in the past probably almost two years that's how long i've been using it i'm sure you have seen or heard me talk about divvy and it has been such an important thing in my life and i love the reason behind it and the why behind it because i so relate so if you guys don't follow danny Olson, first of all you should she's like my favorite influencer but she suffered through like really emotional hair loss a couple of years ago and she took it upon herself to just really like research and dive in and understand like the routine, like the importance of just scalp health. And so from that, she created Divi. And their first product was the Scalp Serum. And right around the time that she came out with this, I myself was experiencing a lot of hair loss. I know I've shared that with you guys tons of times, but back then, like it was to the point that I was really embarrassed by it. I had to like style my hair a certain way so that like you couldn't tell it was so thin. So when she came out with this and I knew her hair story and her journey from that, I was like, okay, I've got to try it. And I've been using Divi ever since then. And when I tell you guys, it has made such a difference 
in my hair and my life and getting my confidence back in my hair. And then since then, Divi has come out with shampoo, conditioner, and then also the hair vitamins. And here's the thing, these products are not just for like hair loss, they are for hair health and like scalp health and really getting to like the root issue, pun intended. <laughs> But I also love that these products are backed by science. They're clean ingredients. They are effective. Now, how you use Divi. So shampoo conditioner you use as normal. I just leave it in my shower and I use it every single time like I wash my hair. And then for the scalp serum, I shake it really good. And then once I get out of the shower, I'll like towel dry my hair and I'll put it in my hair while it's damp and then blow dry as normal. It does not leave my hair greasy. There's no like residue. As you guys can see, I just obviously used it this morning and my hair is perfectly clean. Like there's absolutely, it doesn't weigh it down at all. And then you can also use it on dry hair. Okay, I have y'all like pretty zoomed in because I want to try and like show you all of this new hair growth, especially right around here, which is where I had the most hair loss. And to see all of this like growing back, you don't even know, I could cry tears of joy. It makes my heart so happy. Whether you are dealing with hair loss or you just want to have really healthy hair and scalp, you have got to try Divi. And I am so excited because y'all, we are getting early access to their Black Friday deal. So if you use my code Jessica O, you are going to get 25% off site-wide, no exclusions for early access Black Friday. This means everything on the website, sweatshirts and subscriptions included, is going to be 25% off. So I'll have the link down below. Use code Jessica O. I am so excited for you guys to try Divi. Okay, in my best Mariah Carey, it's time. I am so excited. I cannot wait to show you guys all the things I picked up as far as Christmas. Christmas decor goes and y'all I love my theme this year so much and I'm gonna show you in a second I'm gonna start with Kirkland's because that's where this theme came from I walked in I saw this particular something something and I fell in love with it and I was like that's how I have to decorate my shelves and y'all know this house is like a lot smaller than our old house and so I have a lot less spaces to actually decorate so my shelves over here is like my one thing that I get so excited about you just wait it's amazing and let me just say this about Kirkland's every year I am like blown away by their Christmas decor and I just feel like it gets better and better and this year I'm telling y'all they have outdone themselves okay this is what I walked in I saw I immediately fell in love with it it was not on sale and I was like, I'm gonna hold out until it is and then finally they did like a 25% off I went back and got it and this is the theme for my little shelf area. It's gonna be all of these little nutcrackers. And I love that these are kind of like watercolored and all of the different colors in here are still traditional, but almost like a lighter version of the traditional colors, if that makes sense. And it is just the sweetest, cutest thing. And the top is decorated as well. And they had like this entire little nutcracker section. So they had this platter and it matches perfectly. So I had to grab that too. And they also had like a couple different little nutcracker guides to choose from. So I grabbed this one because I like the colors in this. It's very traditional. And I know this is like classic and I will be able to use this for years and years to come. Now sticking with my nutcracker theme, they also had these beautiful gold candlestick nutcrackers. Are these not stunning. I love these little guys so much. I actually found the candlesticks at Walmart and they were the perfect color, but I got two of my little nutcracker guys. And then last but not least from Kirkland's, y'all know I always have like a little sign back here in our kitchen. And it's been kind of fun to just like change that sign out for all the holidays. So I found this one at Kirkland's and I love like the tart and plaid in there because again, I feel like that's very like classic Christmas and something that's like not gonna ever go out of style. So I got this sign that says Merry and Bright. Okay, now on to Target. I am really loving this like velvety suede. I don't exactly know what it is. More of like a velvet texture and Target has a ton of it. It's kind of my vibe this year. But first of all, I love this brown. I am usually not a neutral girl. Usually I'm like, give me all the color. But once you see the ornaments that I bought at Hobby Lobby and how I'm gonna do my tree, you're gonna see how this is gonna look so good. I'm still gonna have like that pop of color. But let me just tell you, I've been putting out like these browns, taupes, neutrals with like my greens and it 
is beautiful i love it so much so this is going in the living room but i just like fell in love with this tree they have this whole little section of like this in tons of different colors and then i also got the snowman and they have this in lots of colors as well this one i just got like in the what would resemble you know like actual color <laughs> of a snowman and then i picked up that same tree in this green because this is like what's going over on my shelves and kind of matches my nutcracker section but i love 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 these velvet trees and i looked out so good because these little nutcrackers are the same color as like my tree and my whole entire like little theme over there like my candlesticks I, I love it. I'm just so happy that I found like all of this stuff that matches, but these guys were so cute. They were in the dollar spot for $3, so I got two of these. And then also from the Target dollar spot, I got this cute little like Christmas tree tray. I'm just gonna use this for my little coffee station over there. Oh, and I love how it has like the gold handle right there. That's a fun little detail, but this was $5, I thought it was really cute. So that's all my Target stuff. Okay, and then as for Hobby Lobby, I thought it'd be easier to kind of show y'all these things up close. I'm gonna do kind of the same concept I did last year as far as like golds and silvers and just like mixing metals and then like that beautiful lush dark velvet green. But I'm also gonna add in pops of like this copper and brown because I think that is gonna be so beautiful with it. So this entire bag is just filled with like tons of these copper ornaments. They had two different ones. There were these and then they had ones that had like a cracked glass on the bottom they were a little bit more expensive these were $4.99 and then of course you know 50% off but I also love the little velvet ribbon they're beautiful like I thought they were gonna be way more expensive so so beautiful so anyways I got those to go on the tree and then I thought these would be really pretty I feel like you can't really see the actual color on camera but there's tons of like copper and gold in there so i think that's going to be really pretty on the tree too and then i just thought these were fun and like uniquely shaped and so i picked these up as well that's all of my hobby lobby stuff and i have gotten a few little things here and there that i will end up showing you guys i'm sure wait i lied <laughs> i cannot go to hobby lobby without getting all my favorite candles and i got this last year it's called christmas joy first of all you guys know joy is my word so of course you know i had to get this one they have this in the red this christmas joy and they have one that's in a green glass that's like your fraser fur but this smells amazing i'm talking like christmas in a jar it is it's incredible so if you're in there smell this one or pick it up it's so good so anyways got the candle too but that is all my hobby lobby stuff all right friends thank you all for joining us in the kitchen once again tonight we are bringing you a fantastic preheated oven <laughs> no, just kidding we're making some delectable Buffalo chicken macaroni and cheese. Ooh, bunky! Yeah. If you know my bunky on the other side of that camera, she loves buffalo chicken dip. She loves buffalo chicken just about anything. She makes buffalo chicken wraps, buffalo chicken quesadillas, buffalo chicken pizzas. I will eat it any way you will give it to me, but I have never had We've never had buffalo chicken macaroni and cheese. I'm so excited. So this is a big one, a big event going on tonight. And we're we, baking it, like it's gonna be amazing. Oh yeah, so to kick off the process here. Tell us what you've been doing. Bunky's been helping me like prep some things. So I, I boiled some water earlier. It's gonna heat right back up for us. We're gonna get this chicken in the oven, which is already preheated as well. <laughs> But we're gonna get that chicken cooking because we're gonna basically bake it till it's cooked all the way and then we're gonna shred it up, right? Yeah. That's our macaroni and cheese. So if y'all saw our like soup video that we just put out, we made like the chile rain you know, soup and it needed chicken. And so we just baked our chicken and then shredded it in the food processor. And it was so easy and I was like, Funky, we gotta do that more often. So this recipe also calls for just like shredded chicken. So of course you could do a rotisserie to make it really easy. But since we have chicken breast, we're gonna do that same thing, just like pop it in the oven. And since we are making this buffalo chicken style, instead of just putting salt and pepper on it while it like 
garlic roast. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some of the Kinder's Buffalo seasoning because that way it will kind of like go ahead and get some of that flavor in there while it's cooking. So I'm just gonna let lightly spray our chicken breast with like some avocado oil. And funny enough, I follow Kinder's on Instagram and that's actually where we saw this recipe and I said, Bunky, I have to make this. So we'll just pop these in the oven at like 375 and they cooked last time I think for like 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'll get our noodles boiling and that way whenever th this is done, we can just like assemble everything. Okay, we're back to a bowl. So I'm gonna salt my water. We've got jumbo elbows because we got big flavor. Big noodles. Love it. We wanted like bigger noodles so that it would hold up to like all that chicken and cheese. Yeah. And not just like be lost in there. This is, this is like. Meaty. <laughs> this is, this is not your grandma's mac and cheese. That's right. We're going in, we're going in with the whole box bone. Oh, okay. Yeah, go ahead. We so uh, rarely cook with jumbo elbow noodles. I, I'm excited. This might be uh, nearly a first, actually. Yeah. Now, as far as our cheeses go, we're going to do, like, some sharp cheddar in our, like, cheese sauce. And then we're going to do some Monterey Jack on top. I'm also going to add some blue cheese crumbles on top of ours because I love blue cheese. If you don't, then just, like, do a Monterey Jack or mozzarella, whatever you want. Is it actually buffalo chicken dip if you don't have blue cheese crumbles? In my opinion, it's not. But some people are not a fan of blue cheese, so if you're not, you know, you do you. That looks and smells good enough to eat as is. I know, it really does. It will just leave the oven on because we're gonna pop this in there to let it all melt and stuff. So, I'm gonna make like, you know, normal macaroni and cheese sauce. So I'll start with like my butter and flour. The base. The base. So now that I got my butter melting, I'm just gonna add in some flour a little bit at a time and kind of whisk it together. Well, he's gonna slowly pour in our milk mixture. I have about a cup of milk and then a cup of half and half. So two cups all together, but use whatever, if you want to use all milk or all half and half or heavy cream, whatever you choose. So now to season this, I'm gonna add a little bit of the ground mustard, just like I always do to all my cheese sauces. And then we're gonna add more of this buffalo seasoning. And this is gonna give it like truly that buffalo chicken dip flavor. And now I'm also gonna add in like all of our shredded cheddar cheese. I put them in the same bowl, so I'm gonna get a little bit of Mari Jack in there, but that is a okay. I kind of like the idea of having a little bit of both on top anyway, but that's probably about um, half a block. I might actually need a little bit more. This is gonna get thick and cheesy and silky. Oh my goodness, y'all. There is not a lot of things I love more than a good cheese sauce. I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt and pepper. Chicken shredded, so we're gonna add that to a bowl. And then we are gonna go ahead and sauce up our chicken and I'm gonna use the Buffalo Wild Wings medium buffalo sauce because y'all know I love this stuff. And I have found it recently at Aldi, but I know you can find it like at Walmart or pretty much anywhere. So like a good generous amount, and I have another bottle if we need it, which I think we're gonna need it. Dude, I'm telling you that, that buffalo sauce, mm -hmm. it is where it's at. Cause it still has like- Beautiful vinegary flavor. It's, it's that not, vinegary. It's not like super, super hot, it's just, like flavor. It has enough kick and like spice, but it's the vinegary, like, oh man, I love it. Mm. Oh yeah. Keep going? That's good. By the way, over there is like my Christmas headquarters, so it's gonna be a hot mess for like another week until I yeah, get that all clean. Like the North Pole. <laughs> it is. <laughs> okay, now we just need to assemble this delicious ensemble. This cheese conglomeration. <laughs> So 
start with working that cheese sauce in. Bunny, come on over with the chicken. Oh, you know what I just realized? What? Those being those big noodles, there's going to be so much liquid that gets in there? gold that gets inside of those things. I know. Oh, yeah. Ready for chicken? Yep. Add our chicken in. This is like a very easy recipe. I mean, look at that. Goodness, oh my word, Bunky. I saved the tiniest bit of like my pasta water. I'm gonna add just like two tablespoons. Thin it out a little bit. Kind of thin it and just like bind it and bring everybody together. So I went ahead and lightly like greased our baking dish. Oh my goodness. This, I, I can't even begin to tell you. I'm speechless. I'm a loss for words. <laughs> It's like my dreams. This is my dream dinner. Now, of course, we gotta add, you know, more cheese. So we're gonna do like our Monterey Jack. Then go in with like a drizzle of your buffalo sauce all over the top. And then some blue cheese crumbles over top of that. Just to kind of finish it off. That is some deep dish mac and cheese I am right cry there. I'm crying, I'm crying. Okay, that's it. Go into the oven. 375 um, uncovered. Um, I say about 15 20 minutes at most. Um, basically, until you just can't stand it any longer. Yeah, because everything's cooked. We're just <laughs> melting all that cheese together. Okay, I have to be the first taste tester because y'all know this is like my dinner. And first of all, can I just say that, like, on a cold winter night, this is my ultimate comfort food of all time. Mm -hmm. I have like mouth jets, I'm drooling. <laughs> I'm about to be brought to tears. That was, a, that was a moment of silence if I have ever heard one. I am gonna be brought to tears. <laughs> this is my favorite meal of all time. This is my favorite meal. Are you serious? This is my favorite meal. Th this is like- You cannot top it. You would take this over anything. Anything. And after four years, four and a half years, we have found the ultimate bunky satisfaction. Oh. How do you like the big macaroni noodles? I love the big noodles because kind of like you're saying, you get like all that sauciness in there mm -hmm. and cheesiness and it's just so delicious. You gotta try this. I really like the fact that we made it with the chicken breast the way we did because I kind of like the white meat chicken when it comes to buffalo chicken dip like this. Me too. I think that's the way to go, honestly. And then another thing is, this isn't um, a soupy mac and cheese. Right. Like, it really has great texture and... Like, each bite you're getting, like, chicken, the noodle. Like, it's actually very substantial. Yeah. I hope y'all had as much fun today as I did. I feel like we did a lot today. I've been so excited to show you my Christmas decor and now I cannot wait to decorate. And of course I will share that with you guys as well. I love you so much. Don't forget to check out Divi down below. 25% off site-wide early access to Black Friday. I'm so excited for you guys to try Divi. As always, if you're new, we would love for you to join our family. So before you leave, hit that subscribe button, give this one a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye y'all.